There we go. Hello, Carol. Um, it is an Andean condor, and this is one of the largest flying birds in the world. The males are even bigger. They can weigh up to 30 pounds and have a wingspan of over 11 feet. Now, Andean condors their wings and allow the birds to take off from level ground, like around here. So instead, they prefer to hang out in the high Andes mountains. From altitudes of up to 10,000 feet, they can run and launch themselves like a big hang glider and then pretty well soar wherever they need to go. Since condors are the largest of the vulture family, the only place they really need to go is searching for carrion, or animals that have already died. And the types of animals they find up in the Andes include goats and sheep and even llamas. Well, now that the numbers of those animals are all coming back up, where are you going? <laughs> The chance for condors to make a recovery is pretty good, but only if we keep releasing birds. She's going over to check out the merchandise over here. And she says, bald eagle, what the heck? Come on over here, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. <laughs> now, NBA condors are are being affected by some pressures in the wild. A big one is shooting the birds because people think that they're attacking their livestock. And another one is uh, using them for festivals, using their feathers and their parts of their bodies. We're, we're trying to work first on education, but a breeding and release program, the same type which helps the California condors, is uh, under work as well. And Vicky will hopefully be helping out with that. We're only going to use her in the program for a couple more years. She's been living next door to her future mate. His name is Ed. And uh, they've been getting along pretty good. We hope they'll eventually join our other pair of condors that we're breeding, named George and Liz. And our goal... I need you right here at this part of the sea. He <laughs> says, wait a minute, I've got a whole new room to explore here. Okay. Come here. There we go. Come on. Come on. Now going back to the <laughs> I still remember that National Geographic article that I saw. Uh, he's, just, he's just looking for a place to get out of here and get to right home. Yes. Yes. Come on. Give up for the show here. Those are all the requirements. We do need adults and who has a 
$5 bill, just call the dollar bill up. I can find it right over there. Excellent. Stand up for me. I need you to pull your left side to your side like that. And she's already on her way. She'll land. She'll grab the money. She's going to fly it right to the little box and deposit it right See how big he was? Let him stretch his wings. So I opened the door and turned him loose in the living room. He stepped up on the coffee table, flapped those 11 foot 4 wings, and blew down everything in the entire room. It was so cool. <laughs> well, I knew from that moment I was a changed person. I was then going to dedicate all of my efforts to doing everything I could to help conquer both California and Andy in any way possible. I never thought we would have our own breeding program trying to release birds to the wild. But we do also get involved in a lot of legislation. I spend a lot of time at the Grand Canyon. And uh, actually now there are more California condor births than there are deaths. So that is a pretty good uh, milestone for the breeding program there. But nonetheless, Rosie has become the biggest supporter of our foundation called the Condor Fund. Now I realize this weekend is all about supporting the National Eagle Center. But once everybody sees Rosie doing the double bill trick, more people want to participate in it. So she's going to hang out here for anybody that happens to want to leave an extra dollar for the condors. On your way out, you can come on by. I've got one right up here. Hold on, Rosie. I'll, I'll find one. It's okay. You can hold up the money just within her reach. She'll keep taking them and she'll keep putting them into her box. There you go. <laughs> and uh, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you guys for being such a great audience. You want two treats for that slice? Okay. For being such a great audience, for watching all the birds, I'm glad we were able to show you such a variety from around the world. Thanks for coming up here this weekend and supporting the National Eagle Center. And thanks for having me out. Have a great